two cloves of garlic, if you're like me, double or triple that, because I love, I love garlic. Uh, juice of half a lime. Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome if this is your very first time here. Welcome back if this is not your first time here. Either way, my name is April. This is Plan with April. And today, today, we are planning in my weekly Walmart planner for the week of April 22nd through April 28th. This is the planner I use for meal planning. So I'm just gonna pop down some pretty little washi tape in here and in here. I'm also going to get, can I bring my white out back? I didn't, it's on my table, that's fine. I will do this. I was working at my dining room table Wes is gone for the day, most of the day. No, I need my white out. I need my white out. It's just not gonna work for me. And I don't think I have an extra one back here. We'll do, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna pop this little meal plan. And this was a glue tape. I thought for a second, maybe it was a tape or a white out, but it is not. So I'm just gonna pop meal plan up here. This is a Chrissy Ann design sticker. I got it years and years and years ago. Absolutely loved it. And I, Wes organized a bunch of my stickers and I found it and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, this is awesome. So I'm going through my Pinterest board. If you uh, are looking for recipes, you think any of these sound great, then definitely go find my Pinterest board. It's linked down below in the description. I am just popping over here do, 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 to see what I need. Okay, so on Monday, I am gonna make chick pea fritters. Chick pea fritters. This is my Lamy, Lamay, Lamy, I don't know how to pronounce it. It is my fountain pen that I got on Amazon that I absolutely love, and it is a lot of fun to write with. So one can of chickpeas drained and rinsed. And then this is one can, not cup. Half a medium onion. Two cloves of garlic, if you're like me, double or triple that, because I love, I love garlic. Uh, juice of half a lime. One teaspoon each of onion powder. Seems a tad bit redundant with the medium onion, but we are not gonna ask questions cumin or cumin, however you pronounce that, oregano, oregano, oregano. No, that makes me think of the girl on uh, TikTok that says hippopotamus, hippopotamus. If you haven't seen that one, oh my goodness, she's adorable. Paprika, I don't know why I say it like that. And then one fourth teaspoon, unless you like the spicy, spicy side of life, of red pepper flakes. Listen to that. Listen to that nib just scratch that paper. We're also going to do, let's see, black pepper to taste, and then one half cup to one third cup flour. We're gonna mix all of this together. You can add char uh, parsley, chopped parsley, or charsley as I was trying to say, corn, medium bell pepper, whatever you want. You're just gonna make these into uh, fritz, fritters, and deep fry them. That's, so that is our first meal for Monday. Monday, Monday. And then I'm gonna stay on the chickpea 
uh, bandwagon because I've got four cans in my pantry that I need to get used up because I, I keep ignoring them. Just ignoring them. So then I'm going to do Al Pastor chickpea tacos. And I'm going to see if Wes will make homemade corn tortillas to go with these. It says it takes 30 minutes. It's vegan. It's going to be perfect. And it looks like very minimal things. In fact, I'm looking at this. I think I have everything but the cilantro on hand. So again, I'm going to do chickpeas. I know to drain and rinse always with anything canned. And then I'm going to do one bunch of cilantro because can you have too much? Actually, you probably can. I hear if you eat too much, it does taste a bit like uh, soap. Soap poisoning. Two cloves of garlic. I'm just going to write two garlic. I will double that or triple that. One teaspoon of oregano. And then one can of pineapple chunks. Now I can my own pineapple, so I will just use my own pineapple that I've canned. I love doing that because honestly, pineapple in the can can be a bit expensive. And to me, it almost has that aluminum taste to it. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan. And then chipotle peppers. This is going to be by taste because neither one of us really like chipotle peppers. I like it. I like it in this recipe, but not by itself. Like I would not choose something that had these peppers in it normally. They're just not, not my thing, chicken wing. And then of course we've got our spices, which are going to be chili powder to taste. Paprika salt and pepper, the normal stuff. And then we are going to have a fourth of a cup. Actually, I want to add cumin to this too. And then I need a fourth of a cup apple cider vinegar. And did you guys know you can make your own apple cider vinegar? I had no idea. So I am definitely going to be trying this in the near future in the near future. Okay, so that takes care of Tuesday. Let's pop, whoop, let's pop back here. And then I've got veggie pinwheels, which this is kind of like a, a Costco ripoff, not a ripoff, but inspired by veggie. These are the big burrito tortillas and you just smother a bunch of stuff in there, roll them up and then cut them up in pinwheels. So super, super easy, very, very fast to put together. One of my favorite recipes to do. You can put anything in it. I'm gonna do broccoli and carrots because I have them. And you'll just chop these really fine. I'm going to add some dill in there. I'll do some garlic because can you ever have too much garlic? Parsley. And this calls for onion powder, but I'm just going to do onions because I prefer the taste of onions over uh, onion powder. I mean, I use onion powder on things, but not if it's something fresh that's not going to cook. I like to do just fresh, fresh onion. Okay. And then I need... Uh, cream cheese, of course, I'm going to be purchasing the non-dairy option, but you can do absolutely the dairy option too. Mayo, and then salt and pepper to taste, and then I'm going to do some cheddar, cheddar cheese to go in those. And those are super easy. You can make them, you can refrigerate them overnight. They keep really, really, really well. So that is that on that. And then let's do, I've never had these. I want to try them. Nope, wrong one. Where are they at? There they are. These are Puerto Rican rice and beans. And looking over the ingredient list of these, I was like, oh, these look really tasty. Really tasty. And super, super easy to make. And it also has the adobo, which is the peppers in it. So I'm using two ingredients. I'm using one ingredient twice during the week. And I like to do that because it keeps our grocery budget down a little bit. 
if you can reuse ingredients in you know multiple days worth of recipes you're obviously going to be purchasing less at the grocery store plus if you can you know use what you have in your pantry rather than buy new then also really nice now this says coriander and i am pretty sure they are me meaning cilantro because in the picture it has cilantro now when your cilantro goes to seed that's coriander so they're they're two in the same but the leafy part when it's leafy that's cilantro when it's dried and it's the little seeds that's the coriander that's how i understood it garlic cloves as many as you want i'll I'll probably do it calls for five I'll probably double that and then green pepper mm. truthfully I'll make it with the green pepper the first time so that it's authentic to the recipe but in future I am NOT a big fan of green peppers at all at all I don't like the bitterness of them so I may switch that out for a red yellow or orange in the future we'll see and then I've got one pound of pinto uh, beans. So pinto beans, I know I have plenty of those, which is another reason I wanted to try this recipe because I have a ton of those. And then yellow onion. And then we're gonna need six cups of broth. One of those adobo, or one eighth teaspoon of that adobo sauce, which we will save for sure from the tacos, the al pastor. So we'll have those. And then let's see. And then just cook the rice. Is that it? That is it. That's it. So then just serve it with rice on the side. That, that looks amazing. I'm really excited. Whoops, I'm really excited for that. And then the last recipe, because on the weekends we just either do leftovers or we will do um, go out. The last one I'm gonna put down is black bean enchiladas for Friday. And we may or may not stick to this exact schedule. Like we may, we may move the enchiladas, let's say to Wednesday because they'll be ready in the pan to go. Actually, they won't. I take that back. I won't be able to meal prep those because I was hoping when Wes makes the Al Pastor tacos shells, he'll make more tortillas so that I can use them in the black bean enchilada. So yeah, I forgot that was my plan. That was my plan. All right, so in these guys, we are gonna have, of course, olive oil, garlic, another green bell pepper mm. I'm gonna do it like I said I'm gonna keep it and then if I need to change it in the future I sure will onion 15 ounces that's about a fourth of a cup of dried black beans and then I need some corn I'd rather do frozen than canned salt to taste cumin oregano paprika and then we'll do some cheese tortillas of course we know that enchilada sauce And do you know you can make your own enchilada sauce? Mm-hmm. And then any other toppings. I'm also going to add, because I do like in my enchiladas, I do like to have olives. So I'm gonna add olives to this. And that takes care of all the meals for the week. So then all I really have to do is take an inventory. I need to make sure you're in, in screen up here. I just need to take an inventory of my pantry and my fridge. That's what will go here is the inventory. And then here I'll make my market list of the, the things that I need for the week. Again, if any of these recipes look good to you and you want to try them, hit up my Pinterest page. It's linked down below in the description. I would love to hear what you think of these recipes for sure. And let's see. For the month, we're doing pretty good at making things that I've written down. So, so far, so good. Um, we have, 
we have had quite a few of the things on the list so far. I think I'm most excited about the Pas El Pastor chickpea tacos. Really looking forward to those. And if you guys have any questions about other recipes that I've made, comment down below. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday. It's midweek. We're halfway there to the weekend. I love you, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Thank you.